What's up, people? Welcome to Kyle's Corner. Today on Kyle's Corner, it's getting chilly up here in the Pacific Northwest, so I'm gonna go over some stuff that you should keep in your truck during these cold winter times. So we got all my stuff here, and uh, it's everything I like to keep in my truck pretty much year round, so I can get me or my family out of any kind of pickle. Uh, but what's really cool about having the right gear to get yourself out of a situation is you have the opportunity to help somebody else out. I spend a lot of time in the outdoors hunting and fishing, and wheeling with my friends and you see all the time somebody slid off the road or they get stuck in a ditch and they don't have the right equipment to get themselves out so it gives you the opportunity to kind of help them and uh, get them on their way which is awesome and we're going to start off with some recovery gear um, always have some gloves with you uh, whether you're running winch line um, working on fixing something it's always awesome to have gloves to protect your hands especially when it's cold like it is today i think it's like 19 degrees outside make sure you got some gloves a good recovery bag snatch blocks soft shackles a toe strap um, anything that's winch related for towing people is always a great thing to have with you in your truck along with some recovery boards what's really cool about these max tracks recovery boards is if you're not using them underneath your tires to get yourself out of a ditch you can actually use them as a shovel if you don't have one which i do uh, but if you flip the max tracks upside down, they work awesome as a shovel. If you're in a sticky situation and you need to move some stuff, those are great. They come in pair too, so you can get your spouse out and put them to work, get them digging. Winch controllers, you gotta have them, otherwise you can't use your winch. If it's wireless, make sure you pack your handheld that plugs in, because you never know when your battery's gonna die, and it would stink if it died when you needed it. Always gotta have your jumper cables, and then I've got some other little knickknacks and doodads. Um, one of the most important things you should have in your truck is a solid, really good top quality first aid kit. Outer Limit Supplies makes an awesome first aid kit that's available in all sorts of different sizes, whether it's a you know, one or two person kit up to a 10 to 16 person kit. They're a great thing to have. I highly, highly recommend it. It's got medicine in it, tourniquets, all sorts of stuff definitely a must have in your truck. Navigation. Um, this particular one is the Magellan and I've got a, a Goal Zero kind of battery backup. You never know when you're going to need to charge a phone, charge a flashlight, anything that's battery powered. It's always great to have that ready to go. Make sure it's charged because if you bring it and it's dead, it's just a paperweight. Um, and what's really cool about the Magellan navigation is it doesn't use any kind of cell service or anything like that. So if you do get lost and you don't have cell service, um, you got your Magellan, just backtrack. Uh, it tracks everything for you. Guys, I'm really excited about this one. If you do get stranded, you gotta have food, right? So you're out in the middle of nowhere, you're cold like me and you get hungry, okay? Here's what's really cool. Hold on. Hold on, you're gonna love it. Just wait. Okay, what's really cool about these Doritos is they burn really well. Um, it shows you how healthy they are. They're so good for you that if you light them on fire, they will actually burn like this for several minutes. So Doritos, let's talk about it. It doubles as a food source, but also as warmth. So you can take your Doritos, light them on fire and use that as something to start. If the wood's wet, if the pine needles are wet, if you're surrounded by snow, whatever it may be, um, take a Dorito out of your snack pack or your little kid's lunch bag. That's where I got these, uh, by the way, sorry. So before you leave the house, make sure you uh, go to your cabinet, steal your kid's Doritos and uh, put them in your truck because it doubles as food and also an awesome source of fuel. I know it sounds silly, but I've actually used it several times to start fires when I'm out hunting. Uh, it, it's a really great fire starter. That's my gear that I keep in my truck. Hopefully there's something in there that you were like, oh man, Kyle, that's awesome. I gotta get that in my truck. We wanna make sure that you stay safe out on those roads. And also it gives you the option and the capability to help other people in need if they're in a situation. If there is something that you think I missed or a must have that you've got in your truck, make sure you leave it in the comments below so we can see it and other people can see it. Stay tuned for next episode. Thanks for watching.